the dogs are going down. There's Chestnut. He's the defending champion. He's looking for a 10th championship. He jumps out right in front with two, but both Esper and O.G. They keep race with him. That's a surprise. I was looking for, well, finally we get Stoney in there. The moment of glory is upon us. Now, they say we're a country divided, but there's one thing we can all agree on is that this contest is the greatest event of the summer. It's the Independence Day holiday out here in Coney Island across America. And Joey Chestnut is the great unifier right there in the center of the table where he belongs, nine-time champion. So Stoney comes out just two behind, but look at Chestnut. He's not finished out the first minute, and he's at eight right now. Looks like he's going to be at ten by the end. If he can keep that pace up for four or five minutes, he can slow down can win his championship and can set a record. Yeah, 10 dogs per minute. It's a 10 DPM and 11 DPM. It's not fake shoes. This is real. This is happening in real time right here live. So he went with the first minute at 11 hot dogs and buns per minute. Setting at 11. He's got to keep that pace going for a while here. Well, look at him here. Two dogs, dunk, boom, down in the mouth. Two rolls, buns, down, in the mouth, boom. Chestnut, Stoney, look at the dogs per minute. 11, now 10.8 for Chestnut. Stoney's behind, sitting there at seven and a half. It's just, it's, it's tough for these guys. I mean, Chestnut has such efficient delivery. The two, the two meats, the two buns, a little bit of water. It's just an incredible delivery system. Jeff Bezos should, uh, should take note. I wouldn't be surprised if Bezos himself was here. I think he's a fan of our sport. I know that we got some young super fans watching out in Jersey, Kellen Cam, and down in Texas, Alexa Lynch. Some of the super fans we saw this year. I uh, met a guy earlier, Paul. He's 40,000 people out here, right? I met a guy at 7.30 looking for a parking spot. Eric Hammes drove all the way from Dearborn, Michigan to drink Coney Island locker and watch this thing in person. Of, of course, goes without saying. Tell you a story about Chestnut, though, as he now has 22. Sikati has dropped down into third, and Esper with 18 now. Esper's a bit of a surprise here. Well, but talking about joy for just a moment, in my hometown, Indianapolis, we have St. Elmo. Yep. World famous historic restaurant. They're famous for their shrimp cocktail with hot sauce and hard breading. I watched Joey just nail those bowl after bowl after bowl, and he took the win there. Yeah, it's great to talk to him. There's that for he ate 53 uh, to qualify up in Boston. He's from Oxford. Uh, 51 times, forgive me. So to qualify, he's very good, but I think. Uh, he'd be a big surprise if he were to, to, to beat Stoney today. Stoney is lagging behind. Okay, so you've got Chestnut here. Sincati at 23 and Stoney at 20. But keep an eye on Sincati. Sincati's an interesting kid, very nice cerebral kid. He's a student of architecture. He loves art. He says the Guggenheim's his favorite museum in New York City. Picasso, Gauguin. Of course, Gauguin couldn't uh, do a still life with these guys. They eat all the fruit. So Sengati at 27. How about Stoney? 21. Way, way back. That's a surprise, too. Yeah, for Stoney, though, it is a New Yorker. You, you think of the F train or Metro North. He's slowing down. He's almost stalled because his pace is typically much faster. And in the upper right-hand corner, you take a look at Joey Chestnut. 35 dogs. We're at just under six and a half minutes to the end of this competition. It's been a decade of dominance Paul with Joey. It was all the way back in 07 when Joey won his first call. In 07, George Bush was president. Jordan Sparks won American Idol. In 2007, Little Kim was 32. Lil Yachty was just nine years old. Lil Yachty was nine years old when Joey won his first belt. Joey hasn't really missed a beat. He lost one year, right? Or for his tenth now. You know, I think you do have to be impressed with what Esper is doing right now. Battling back and forth with Stoney. 27 for Esper. Absolutely impressive. So passing under the uh, six minute mark, let's go to Melanie. Thanks guys. Well, when I spoke with Joey about his ideal pacing for this competition, I asked him, what's it gonna take to hit that mark you reached in the DC qualifier two years ago? That was 73 and a half dogs, the world record. He said, if I can get down 48 or 50 in five minutes, I will smash that record, guys. So here we go, coming up to five and a half minutes to the end, 9.4 is his average, 9.3, he is slowing, but this is still a pace that's remarkable, he's on an 88 pace, I mean, we're halfway through and the emotions are surging, I couldn't convey what I'm feeling right now on Twitter, but if you're on Twitter, hit me.